<laughs> All right, Mike just finished his turn four. It's pretty eventful. Um, he opened fire on my warriors with his destroyers and killed one and wounded one. And his Nightbringer fired at one of my warriors and wounded it, and then he assaulted and killed two more. And I can't hurt his Nightbringer, so they're kind of stuck in there. It's a flawed rule, obviously, but it doesn't look like 5th edition fixes that either. But anyways, these guys moved up and opened up all their rapid fire. They actually managed to wound them three times because they rolled three ones. But over here we had a nice assault with everything, and I had knocked down every one of his guys and overran the ones that didn't. But they might come back because his Necron Lord there has an orb, so he might get up. And this is all, however, he managed to kill the four of my Gaunts, which leaves them wide open for a bunch of firing, but they're still pretty strong. And over here, this was completely a draw. His played ones didn't wound me, and I didn't wound his played ones, which is pretty pathetic. So now it's my turn, and we'll see what happens. Okay, I just finished my turn. It went pretty well, but not as well as I wanted to. Gene Slayers jumped in here and uh, worked on these Slayer, what are they called? The Slayed Ones. ones. Killed five of six of them, which is really annoying because I needed the Gene Slayers to keep going to help out over here. This is becoming very hard. And my Termagants all fired into the squad and charged him and I managed to knock down one of them that didn't come back. My Warriors jumped on those four destroyers and completely knocked them out so they can't come back. The Big Katana knocked down another one of my Warriors. And Gene Slayers just running over here. My Hormagants jumped into these guys, killed one of them, and then died. We've already rolled for the We'll Be Back, so these guys actually all stood up again, which is really annoying because now they're going to shoot up the Gene Stealers. So now it's my, Mike's turn. What round are we on? Five? We haven't done the Catan Skulls combat yet. Oh, okay. Alright, we'll be right back. Now we're back. Okay. Mike just finished turn five. His flayed one died here, and now they're charging out. He shot at my Hive turn and finished him off. Oh, well, barely. Which kind of sucks. He hacked at my G or my Termagants here and killed a few more, and I didn't manage to kill any of them. These guys got back up and gunned down four of my Gene Stealers, although they're going to turn around and do their work. And we got this god here that knocked down one more wound of my warriors, so he's getting tied up here, but he's wreaking havoc on these six good shooters. And I think that's all, right? All right. That's it. Okay, we just finished the game. We finished turn five. We didn't even do turn six because Mike phased out. Well, actually, at the beginning of turn six, he phased out. Uh, so basically, my Gene Slayers all came and ransacked this last group and finished them all off, which brought him down below 25%. Over here, we knocked down a few, and he didn't manage to knock down enough of my Gene Stealers and my Gaunts to bring them down below scoring, although his god thing did kill a couple more of my warriors, so they're all below scoring. So total score, let's take a look over at the... the here we are. On the left is Mike's. Those are all the things that he killed. On the right, the 2498 is what I killed of him, plus those numbers, the four numbers below it are what survived. Add that up, and I won by 2200 points on a 2500 point game. So that's a massacre, or a victorious slaughter, because it's more than 2000 points. So, I win. Did you have fun? I did. Okay, it wasn't too disappointing. It was a good game. Even though the monolith died, man, he still held out. If he didn't phase out, I'm not really sure if I would have won. It would have probably brought it to a draw or something. Because they would have survived a lot better. But it was a good game anyway. It was a very good game. It lasted a while, it was like three hours. Yeah. <laughs> a little tiring too. It was. That's good. That's what you get with a 2500 point swarm army. Holy cow, I've never played that many. Anything you would do different if you were doing this again? I would bring the monolith in on Maya side instead of deep striking it and use it to continually pull my units back out of close combat. That would have probably got out. I probably had no Gene Steelers left if I'd done that. Yeah, that's true. You could have been able to gun them down more. Um, I also probably would have, rather than throwing my Catan at a bunch of warriors who can't hurt it, which Wayne was nice, he just got to sit there and do free hits every couple in a while. I probably would still would have actually taken him at the Carnifex and the Hive Tyrant and just slaughtered them on the way through. Yeah, he would have been able to do that too. Rather than Although he might have got gunned down by the Hive Tyrant, he was pretty close to dying. He might have. Maybe. But he may not have, and he might have completely killed him. What would I have done differently? Well, I brought in the Swarm Army because that's what we wanted to do. Although if I was going to like build a perfect army against the Necrons, I'd bring in just all Gene Stealers. That way, it just completely rends the heck out of them. Because yeah. the Termagants actually have a hard time killing the Necrons. Even the Hormagons do, because they weren't upgraded for initiative or for their strength. Yeah. So they just had a very difficult time hurting them on a 5+. Plus. And I definitely need more Destroyers. Yes, definitely. Although they did very well. They did. Extremely. They held out a long time, and that 12-inch movement gets them out of trouble really often. And they they kill see the Gene Sears coming, they can run away and shoot at them, and then they see more Gene Sears coming, they yeah, run the away one, and shoot at them. They're the ones that killed the Brood Lord and all his retinue. Yes. So. Yeah, they, they did well. They did and well. they took out a good number of Gaunts, too. Yeah. 
So they're definitely worth their points. Oh yeah. Uh, unlike the Monolith, who has now played three games and in total has killed seven gene stealers, four of them by exploding. Well, you do have two more Monoliths put together. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. All right. Well, good game. Coming soon. And that's it.